Dear brothers and sisters, this is a homily for 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. The message for this Sunday is, Master, I want to see, said the blind man in the Gospel reading of today. Indeed, this statement reveals the great desire and faith that Bartimaeus had in Christ. Moreover, in this homily, we are going to look at the three actions or things he did to show his faith, hope, love, and above all, as a true model for any disciple of Christ today. Lastly, to be considered in this homily is what this story of Bartimaeus teaches us today. In the first reading, Prophet Jeremiah announces and gives hope to the people of Israel in exile who wanted to see again the promised land. Indeed, they wanted to experience again the care, the love, the mercy, and the saving power of God. That is why God assures them through Prophet Jeremiah that he will comfort them again and even gather all people from far ends of the earth, including the blind and the lame. There, we see the wish of the people of Israel to see again the goodness of God. Turning to the gospel passage of today, taken from Mark chapter 10, from verses 46 to 52, we find a story of a blind man along the road to Jerusalem. This miracle is the last before Jesus' entry into Jerusalem city. What is really interesting and inspiring from this story of Bartimaeus? As a matter of fact, there are many points to meditate on, but I would like to draw your attention on three actions taken by Bartimaeus, the blind man, so that he could be healed by Christ. Here are the three steps, or if you wish, three actions. One, he shouted. Two, he got up. And finally, he asked Jesus, Master, I want to see. These three steps are very important in the life of Bartimaeus as far as healing of his eyesight is concerned. Let's look and reflect deeply on each of the three steps. One, he shouted. Bartimaeus along the road, as a beggar, was excluded from the society. He could not do much as in to catch or attract the attention of Jesus Christ who was passing by. Therefore, considering his condition, he had only the possibility to hear and to talk. That is why when he heard about Jesus of Nazareth, he shouted higher and higher, Son of David, have pity on me. Why did he mention Son of David? Because it means Messiah who would restore the kingdom of Israel as foretold in the First Testament. The shouting of Bartimaeus was to reach Jesus' ears and overcome the shouts from the crowds. Indeed, his cry was heard as the psalmist puts it that this poor man called and the Lord heard him. In addition to that, Bartimaeus' first step teaches us that whenever we are in difficulties, let us gather the courage and hope in Christ and cry to him, Son of David, have pity on us, maybe because our marriage life or our religious life or our life in general is perishing. The second step, he got up. When Jesus heard and called Bartimaeus, he got up with the help of some people, left his cloak behind, meaning leaving his riches behind in order to meet Christ. The blind man here shows us a good model of a disciple who detaches himself from riches and attaches himself to Christ. Indeed, with this gesture, 
Bartimaeus rejoins the twelve disciples who left everything and followed Christ. What do you need to leave behind before meeting Christ as a Christian today? Finally, he asked Jesus, Master, I want to see. When Bartimaeus met Jesus, Jesus asked him what he wanted, of which he said, Master, I want to see. But Jesus knew and even saw him blind. Then why did he ask him, what can I do for you? Because one, Jesus wanted to prove his faith, and second, he wanted his faith to be manifested in the presence of the crowd because the crowd was seeing physically but spiritually blind, whereas Bartimaeus was physically blind but spiritually seeing with the eye of faith, as St. Augustine would put it. Eventually, he regained his eyesight. To us today, when we meet Christ during Eucharistic celebrations or prayer time, do we see and say exactly what we want him to do for us. More interestingly, after regaining his eyesight, Christ told him, go away, your faith has saved you. However, Bartimaeus decided to follow Christ on his way to Jerusalem, the way through his passion, death, and resurrection. Here, Bartimaeus shows us a good model of a disciple who abandons all to get healed and to follow Christ on his way to Jerusalem. Whenever we are faced or blinded by some difficulties in our life, may we shout to Christ, get up to meet him and tell him, Master, I want to see again the goodness in my life. To conclude, on this 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time B, the story of Bartimaeus reminds us the central role of faith, practical steps taken so as to meet Christ, who would heal our physical blindness and spiritual blindness. Let us make the words and request of Bartimaeus our own in our daily life by saying, Master, I want to see again the goodness in my marriage, I want to see again the goodness in my religious life. I want to see again the goodness in my life in general. Christ, our Master, help us to see, to hope, to trust, to love, and to experience you again in our life. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday.